forget to subscribe! Oh. Ah now, let's change the smelly diaper.
lampshade. Fix the formula! All done! <laughs> Let's eat the yummy food! to the floor. The dresser is wobbly because of the ruffled rug. Remove the rug. Close all the drawers. the dresser to the wall. Lock the safety latches. The toys are scattered on the floor. Move them to the box. Don't give it, Kong! Socket can give you an electric shock. Block the forks from the socket. Uh, 
plug in the socket covers. Great! The electric sockets are safe! Wow! The living room is clean and safe! Always remember, living room safety! It's dangerous to run in the bathroom! Let's learn about bathroom safety! Water can make the floor slippery. Wipe it up with a mop. Go for it. <laughs> Cover the floor with the anti-slip mat. The floor is clean! Good job! Oh no! The sink is too tall! Place the step stools! Now be careful and climb up the step stools! You can do it! The toy is so dirty! Move and wash the toy! is shiny and clean. Turn off the tap after use. You can do it! Press on the tap to shut off the water. If the tap is turned towards the hot water, the next person using the tap might get scalded by hot water. Turn the tap to cold water. Good job! <laughs> Now the next person using the tap will be safe. Wow! The bathroom is now safe. Always remember, bathroom safety. Fires and sharp objects in the kitchen can be dangerous. Let's learn about kitchen safety. Oh no! The pot is boiling over. It's dangerous. Turn the knob and turn off the stove. Turn the valve to shut off the gas. Wow! Yay! The stove is now safe. Good job! Ladle the soup to the bowl. It's too hot. hot! Blow on the soup to cool it down. <laughs> wow! The soup has cooled down. Let's feed Hungry Eddie. Glass is dangerous. Suck in the broken glass with a vacuum cleaner. Wow, the floor is clean. Great job. The friends all practice safety in the kitchen. Always remember kitchen safety. 
It can be dangerous to be at home alone. Let's learn about home alone safety. Lock the door after your parents leave. Turn and lock the door. Push the latch and lock the door. The door is locked and safe. Great job! Learn about useful items to know when you're home alone. Phone. If you're in trouble or sick, call your parents. Medical kit. If you're hurt, find the medical kit. Fire extinguisher. If there's a fire, use the fire extinguisher. Ding dong! That was the doorbell. Who's at the door? Honey, I'm here. Hang in there! When your parents aren't home, don't let anyone in. Great job! Am I at the wrong house? You have a delivery! Great job! No one's home. I'll leave it at the door. Patty! Mom's back! Yay! Your mom's home! Great job! <laughs> Lock the door and don't let anyone in. Always remember, home alone safety. Living in a noisy house is unpleasant. Let's learn about noise pollution at home. Make your friends be quiet. Don't use the hammer at night. Don't let the dog bark so loud. Don't play with the ball inside the house. Don't make loud noises when you play. Don't jump on the couch. Don't play music at night. Good job! Always be careful for your neighbors. Lay soundproof mats on the floor. Now each floor is quiet. Look for objects that reduce noise. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! With oh, headphones, yeah. you can quietly listen to music. <laughs> You can walk around quietly. <laughs> With chair leg covers, the no, chairs no, no, won't no. make so much noise. <laughs> Amazing! You found all the objects that reduce noise. Be thoughtful about your neighbors and don't be noisy. Always remember, noise pollution manners. Oh no! It looks like our friends have toothaches. Let's choose a friend in pain and treat them. Hello. Come in, please. Remove the bad bacteria from the teeth. Mouth. 
Awesome. Cure the rotten black teeth. You are very patient. Fill up the holes nicely. You are so good at this. All right. We are all done here. Thank you, doctor. Dental treatment success. It looks like Krong and Loopy have pain in their eyes. Shall we go to the eye clinic and see the doctor? Check their eyes with a magnifying glass. Let's have a close look at the eyes. Look for dirty particles in the eyes with your magnifying glass. Now, let's remove the particles from the eyes. Their eyes are clean again. Now, shall we put on some medicine? Put some medicine on a cotton ball and treat around the eyes. Drop the eye drops in their eyes. All right, we are all done here. Crown, crown. <laughs> My skin suddenly feels itchy, and I see red spots. <laughs> Check their skin with a magnifying glass. Well, let's have a look. Look for the germs <laughs> on their hands. <laughs> Now 
Let's treat it with medicine. Open the ointment. Take some ointment with a swab. Spread the ointment on the areas of the arm that need treating. Take some ointment with a swab. Spread the ointment on the areas of the face that need treating. like Eddie's got a cold. Eddie came to the hospital with a worried face. <coughs> oh, I have a headache and can't stop coughing. I need to go to the hospital. Welcome. I have a fever. My nose keeps running and I'm coughing too much. Let's check your temperature first. Put the thermometer in Eddie's ear. Hmm, your body temperature is a little high. Please go and see Dr. Petty. Eddie went to Dr. Petty and explained how he was feeling. Hmm, you have a fever, a runny nose, and can't stop coughing? Let me examine you first. Take in a deep breath and breathe out for me. <sighs> Phew. Now I'll use my stethoscope. Well done. Now I'll take a look at your throat. Ah. Uh... You've come down with a serious flu. You must have been in pain. Take your medicine and get some sleep. You will feel better in no time. Eddie lay down on the bed and got treated. Let's take care of the fever first. Put the ice pack on Eddie's head. The fever will soon go down. Now, Let's take the medicine prescribed by Dr. Petty. Give Eddie the medicine. Now, let's take a good long sleep. Eddie took the medicine and went to sleep. When Eddie woke up again, Dr. Petty was there waiting with a bright smile. How do you feel? Do you feel better? Yes, my headache is gone and I don't think I have a fever anymore. That's great to hear. It looks you are almost well now. I think so too, doctor. Thank you very much. Eddie got healthy again and went back home. If you are also sick, do not wait and go to the hospital with your parents. <laughs> <laughs>